How's it going guys? Uh, I'm John from Observer Canadian. This is take four. Uh, keep getting interrupted. Uh, anywho, what we're talking about today is our uh, emergency weather radios, crank radios. So the first one I'm going to show you is the least expensive one, the running snail. It comes in a package like this. Uh, the only way you can get these is order them off Amazon. I believe it's right around $30 for these ones. Uh, like I said, these are hand crank, uh, solar powered, and it's got an internal battery, uh, ion battery, and it also takes AAA batteries. Spot for them in there. So three AAAs. So you're going to get power, but not for a long time. But you will have emergency power. Now, the things I like about this radio, this particular one, um, Ariel's not the biggest. So, you might not get the greatest reception, but you do get reception. Um, I've got it on the ion, FM right now, so, so turn it. It's Ariana Grande, so, it does days. come on. So, hand tuning. Got the old dial on it. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So it does have the flashlight. Now, the other thing it also has that I like on this one, none of these other radios have it. It has an SOS, very loud. Um, if you're stuck somewhere and that, and you should have one of these in a bug out bag, uh, emergency kit, something like that. Uh, this would be the first one. I'm going to show you two of them. It would be perfect for that. This is one of them. Um, this is actually pretty loud here. So, you can tell that's pretty loud. That'll get somebody's attention if you need to. Um, that's on the bottom here, the switch. Uh, you can also change it over to charging. So, this one here, got the USB port, so you can charge something else from it. Um, your phone, whatever you want. Um, plug it in and it can be charged same as your uh, your phone does these are not for iPhones uh, it's a different it's the micro connector Let's see it's nice and nice and small there and the cord comes with it it's got a warranty on it and everything so like I said this is our least expensive one right around thirty dollars keep that over here um, I showed you a reading light on it also uh, flashlight this yes, I'll leave that out because I'm going to compare the size of the uh, the aerials between all of them too because that's actually a big part uh, this one comes with a carabiner and a strap on the strap so you can hang it off if you you know if you want to hike it you, you don't mind something like that banging off your backpack uh, number two is from Midland uh, Midland's a great company been around for years uh, this is their ER210. This is one of the other ones. I would say for your emergency kit, bug out bag, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my daughter and me actually call them situational bag because it depends on what the situation is, what you're going to need. Um, the way we set up our bag, uh, we have standard bag. And then we have a bunch of stuff around it too. So if you can get to your bag, uh, a lot of keep people leave them at their front door, depending on what you need it for. Um, so this is just you know basic. Everybody should have one of these, whether it be the running snail, Midland, uh, and Eaton that I'm going to show you in a little bit. Uh, but these are all great radios to have. Um, they've all got three sources of power. Uh, the crank, crank on this one. Also got the solar charger and this one. Now I'm just going to take a quick look at this because I don't believe you can get batteries in this one. Nope. This is your straight ion battery. Midland. You can pick up spares. Uh, probably be a really good idea to have a spare one around. Uh, go on their website and you can find that. Okay, so this one you cannot 
So this one only has two, two sources of power. The other three have three sources of power. Um, this one doesn't have the emergency beacon. Um, it's got a flashlight, same as they all have. Alright, get that one turned off this time. Last time I tried this, I left it on. <laughs> uh, the tuner on this one is the uh, is not a manual tuner. I will get this turned on. Um, get it to an FN band. And you can see this one's a little bigger than this one for the antenna. In this case, bigger is better. Uh, let's see what we got here. Band. Oop. Just switched it. FM tuner. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. All right. Oh, that's what I want here. Everything's our buttons. So, I'm just going to leave that on here, a little background music for us. Okay, so that's the, uh, the Midland 210 and the, uh, the Running Snail uh, 090, uh, what is it? MD090. Okay, next one we're going to look at here is the Midland ER310. Now, this one's a little bit bigger than this one has a couple of different features on it. Pull it out for you. And we'll compare it. Now all the Midland products actually come with their own little catalog too. Uh, shows all the different stuff that they uh, sell. Uh, you can actually even get uh, range finders and that from Midland. Midland's a good company. I actually like Midland. Anyway, all of them, I've left some cords over there. They all come with their cord. It's done getting quite a mess here now. <laughs> Keep everything together. All right, so you can see this Midland is a lot bigger than this Midland. 210 and 310. Same gate crank on it. Underneath the crank is where you can find you can put six AA batteries. So, a lot more power. Close that one up. And it's also got the solar panel. So, again here, three different sources. Got the light. That one turned off. Okay, now, if you hold this down, you won't be able to hear it, maybe if your dog's around. Um, I don't know if it'll play through your speakers or not, but it actually has the, uh, you can see it flashing on there, I'm hoping. See the old dog's head flashing there in the corner. Get that turned back off. Don't want to annoy all the dogs in the neighborhood. <laughs> so it's got that. That's the one thing it has that none of the others have is the ultrasonic dog whistle and pull this one out and you can see the difference between the three of them 310 aerial a lot bigger a lot better reception um, I'm probably gonna take this I'm going up north in a couple of weeks uh, last fall when we were up there uh, we had a four-day power outage. I didn't have either of these three radios. I had uh, this next one I'm going to show you. And I tell you, these things are the greatest things. Everybody should have one of these around. Um, I was lucky enough to have, I just gotten um, the other radio I had got that I'm going to show you. And I tell you, they're fantastic. Um, there was actually a second storm. A storm went through, knocked out the power out of a lot of southern Ontario, uh, western New York. Um, it was a bad storm. It was a wind storm. And um, a lot of people out without power, like there was 
over 200,000 people without power in different areas. Uh, we were in a remote area, so we were we were on the bottom of the list to get fixed. Uh, luckily enough, I was prepared. Um, everybody should be prepared for something like that. You know, a simple simple power outage. Everybody should be prepared for. Uh, you know, spare batteries, candles, things like that. Keep them around your house. Just make sure you use your candles properly. We don't want any fires when there's a power outage or any time. Don't want those. Anywho, so we got this. Buttons are a little bigger than the 210. Uh, it's the same type of idea. Uh, you get your band. You know, switch on AM, FM. Okay, turn this one off. So I've got this one set up for my area. Uh, I'm on channel 4. And it, it comes in really well. Uh, I'm between a couple of lakes here, the Great Lakes. Lake Ontario to the north of me. It's going to sound funny being from Canada, Lake Ontario to the north. Uh, but it is. And Okay. Let's get that turned off. There we go. And you can tell the time here. It's 210. Anywho, so yeah, I'm in southern Ontario here. I've got Lake Ontario to the north of me. So this is really important to have know the weather condition out in the lake. Uh, if I got friends out there, I personally don't go boating out in Lake Ontario. Uh, I used to. Used to do some fishing out there, salmon fishing and that. But these are great to have. Uh, if you're going to go on a boat anywhere, um, take a weather radio. It's I would say it's almost mandatory to do that. Just for safety, your own peace of mind, relatives' peace of mind if they know you're out there, family and that, uh, get, get a weather radio. Alright, the other one here is the one I actually had to use. Uh, this is from Eaton. This is actually a really good one. FRX FRX 5 BT. Um, this has the biggest surface area for your solar panel. It's, I would say, five times the size of the Midland. We'll do its aerial since it's out. It's a little smaller than the Midland, the Ariel, um, but still bigger than the other two. Uh, this is also Bluetooth uh, capable. Um, here again, I'm looking at the buttons, and this is my biggest complaint about uh, the Eaton, is that the, the buttons are under the handle in here. Here's your row of buttons here. So your handle's here, so they're well protected, but if you get any, if it's dark out, you can't see what the buttons are. Um, if you've got, you know, if you wear glasses and you don't have your glasses with you, you can't see the buttons. Um, they're in a good spot, your, your on-off is here, your play and that, your volume button's on the front too. Your uh, tuners on the front. That open. Your cranks on the front, and you actually you can put uh, tie something on there to hang on to it. Um, this one is the same as the middle end, and if I can get it open, there we go. So. You can put a pair of set headphones in. Uh, you can charge it. You can charge something from it with using the USB port. Uh, three of these actually do that. Um, so the Eaton will charge. Your Midland 310 will charge. And your running snail will charge. Um, the Midland, it's the same thing. You can also put in a set of headphones. Uh, you can put an auxiliary in this. It's got a slot for that. 
The only one you can't do that with is, yeah, this doesn't have a spot for auxiliary, and neither does the running snail. This one, same thing, charge, USB port, headphones. Okay, look at this again. Yeah, see, this doesn't have a spot for headphones. Just your uh, your USB and your charging. And this one, yeah, has all of that. This one. Yeah, I still I don't have enough charge in this one to get the lights working. And yeah, I never changed time on this too. Uh, this battery completely died. Um, I had it put away. And it died, so I'll leave it here in the sun for a little bit. Okay, so these two here, running snail and your your Midland uh, 210. I would say great, throw it in an emergency pack, bug out bag, keep it beside your bug out bag, wherever. Put it in a place, you can find it so you can carry them. Um, your running snail slightly, slightly bigger, like taller, but not much of a difference. Weight. The running snail is, you know, grams lighter than that. Not much. Not even an ounce. I don't think. Maybe an ounce. Second choice for long distance hiking. Uh, I would say this. This good for camping. Uh, I wouldn't want to. If you're worried about weight don't take one of these. If you don't care about the weight, grab one of these. Uh, the price difference on all of these, like I said, the running snail, I said at the beginning, is right around $30 US. The uh, the Midland 210 is right in and around the $50 range. And the 310 is in and around the $70 range. And the Eaton FRX5 that's somewhere like in between 100 and 120. Uh, running snail you can only get on Amazon. Uh, the rest, the Midlands you can get on Amazon, but I would suggest go right to their website, get it right from them, and the Eaton right from their website too. But definitely get one. I see uh, friendly neighborhood is out. I won't, I won't do it. I'm tempted to, but I won't. Uh, see what that's like. Ah, you never know. Anywho, that's it. Uh, Observer Canadian, I'm John. I'm out of here. Things to do. Uh, definitely take a look at these guys. Pick one up if you can. Like I said, for 30 bucks, it's peace of mind. You know, do anything you want with one of these, take it hiking, camping, throw it in a car, throw it, keep it in a cottage. Uh, I've actually done the uh, the freezer test on this one, uh, threw it in a week, in a freezer for a week, still worked. So I was happy with that, and that was actually the last time I used that one. And that was just before Christmas, I believe. Uh, we're here third of the way through May now. But definitely get one of these ones. Any of these four be good. I would say not for hiking, perfect for hiking. Buggo bag, whatever you want to put it in. And uh, that's it. I'm Observer Canadian. I'm John. And uh, you guys have an awesome day. And if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see some more of this stuff, hit the like button. Uh, give me a follow and we will get on some more content that you guys want to see. We're going to do a little bushcraft and that stuff. Uh, check out my other videos. Um, I was challenged to a uh, one-handed fire starting challenge from uh, McCartney Survival. Uh, great guy. Check out his channel on, uh, on here on YouTube. And, uh, you know, give him a follow. Take a look at some of his content and try the one-handed fire challenge. Until then, guys, have a great day, and we will see you later.